Good day for you, Anzac Day today. I got this uh, Mitsubishi TV. God of love and liberty. TV is made with a live chassis, so I'm going to test it out and I'm going to put it in transformer all. Mitsubishi still works well, but uh, we'll just give it a test. I've got 40 liters of transformer oil here, and uh, I've repaired the bin. I haven't got a better bin, but I patched it up so the good side is visible. And I've got a kilowatt hour meter in series. Start reading on 138.77. Little Kotak is watching me from above. Kotak, push, push, push. Hello. Cats love electricity. Hi viewers, for many requests I'll uh, put this TV in uh, an old bath, as uh, people ask me if that is a computer video, they wanted to see a TV going dunked out oh, the speaker bars. Let's have a look at this. Well, these cutters off. Hang on, I'll turn the camera off. I need to disconnect the speaker. Okay, can you pass me the bit? Okay, the TV is going. Uh, because of copyrights I will be turning the audio off. And I'll film as we fill up the reservoir. I may put the TV on a snowstorm station um, to visual the concept uh, of the device. Yeah, that sounds better. Do it that way. I'll uh, leave the trumpet on the background. That's neutral music, so I'll put it on. Start filling the device up and see what happens. Audio is muted now because the speaker is submuted. Tape still rolling good. The TV is still running fine. Transformer all, insulation all. Mineral oil, no PCBs. It's TV halfway, I'll just get the camera over to the other side. Give you a visual aspect on the tube. It's a CRT TV, so your picture will be a bit distorted. Insect day to die. Of course, don't copy these experiments, uh, this is dangerous, and leave it up to Rodalco, Rodalco, Aussie 50 or Photonic vids to do these type of experiments. Safety glasses and goggles, minimum PPE. Okay, next slot. Not a good enough all. Ah, oh, the flipping thing might be floating. Hope not. The neck is getting in the water. Uh, uh, in the hole. Oops. A quick edit cut here. Um, Put some weight on the lamp. Oh, I'll have to take a warm, I suppose. Dramas. I hope this freaking thing is not going to fall over. Okay, the oil level is a bit higher, the TV is still going happily.
Now we do the last stage to try to get the Ilta cup on the hole. Let's see how she goes. Oh, overflow. Don't want that. Got a bit of an old spill here, so I need to go to the DVI device. The device still works happily. Working TV submerged in transformator oil. Meter is hardly moving. No, it's my slumber shade is hardly moving as well. One conclusion I can draw out of this experiment is that TV will work in the all oh, fine. Audio is dis disintegrated completely and the speaker is dissolved in the mineral all. Oh. Shortly Jacob. Just watch the TV, I got a TV working under all oh, here. You can learn from your school for that. Have a look. You know, you've seen so many experiments already. Some asked me about the cleaning up. It's not too dramatic, just a milk. Simple milk container. And a funnel. Well, we'll be using in future videos this all for some uh, MOTs, all called MOTs. Hopefully, get a bit more life. We may oh, well do a burnout, an MOT and all too. See how it goes. I don't want to smash the TV up because I don't want to end up with 40 liters of oil burning at the same time if it catches fire. Got similar properties as diesel this stuff so it's not explosive but it build it burns very easy it burns well just removing about 20 liters of oil the TV is still working fine look at the back Another 20 litres to go and then uh, yeah, the TV is back as good as new. The Why can't I touch it? The TV speaker survived and it uh, regained. The TV speaker survived the old bars and still working after we dropped the old level. No signs of stress in the circuit board. Okay, I've emptied all the all out of the TV. Now we're going to liven it back up again. Lovely choice, okay. 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 Okay.
Transformer gets some water on his teeth. You see, it's definitely very dire. Really exciting. TVs and water don't mix. Well, for now. Still drawing power, so we leave the camera rolling just in case. Your bike is going away, Jacob. What? Bike is going away. The TV is still using power. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. That was a Mitsubishi TV. Okay, final, we're gonna vent it carefully. See how it goes. Come on, you lazy thing. At least this is the first TV vented in the water. Not too exciting though. Vented here somewhere there. Yeah. Hmm. Water TV. He used to say, okay, and put a few goldfish in there, and then uh, they can swim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see on the video, but I can see the water in the lamp. So I've got an aquarium here. Where's my hammer? Thanks for watching.